Well, Connors, you were there on draft night to present George Wardlaw with his jumper. 13 years on from your own draft night, what do you feel you can pass on to him early on in his career? Yeah, firstly, it was, um, it was such an honour to represent the club and, and to be able to present George his, his jersey. So I feel straight away we've, we've got that connection. But I think early on, just to come in, just, just work hard and, and try and get the respect and, and the rest of the come. We've, we've seen the highlights. He can obviously play and he's a powerful unit, but just uh, get to work and, and get, your, get that respect. LDU and Taron Thomas have often spoken about the influence you've had on them. And you've spoken about kind of passing the baton on to them when you wrap up. How much are you looking forward to playing more footy with them as they near their peak? Yeah, absolutely. Especially last year when, when I wasn't there, I feel they, they all took a step forward, um, every one of our midfielders. So hopefully this year I can, I can slot straight back in and then um, we can work together and, and hopefully be a, a real dynamic midfield. And how does a pre-season under Clarko compare to the other three senior coaches that you've played under? Yeah, it's a little bit different. Um, still respect to the, the other coaches, but I think because Clarko's been there and, and won the couple of flags, straight away he gets that respect and, and gets the boys' attentions. And um, he's, he's brought in a few concepts and, and different things that's definitely um, got, our, got our attention and um, he's definitely setting good standards and that's straight away. It was one of the high points last year when you returned to senior footy at Adelaide Oval. But in retrospect, how important was it to get those two games under your belt leading into this pre-season? Yeah, it was huge. Obviously, I, um, I worked extremely hard to get back to that position, but I think more pr from probably the pressure, uh, pressure I put on myself, but just to get back, just to get all the love and support and, in, and good attention to the side, and then I can come into this off-season and, and just get to work and hopefully get back to playing um, some of my best footy. And the last 12 months have been really well documented. How are you feeling and how are you travelling health-wise at the moment? Yeah, health's going great. Obviously, I'm, I'm getting my regular checkups um, when they come around, but otherwise it's, it's probably more the, the mindset and appreciation and perspective that's at an all-time high for, for the love of the game at the minute. When, when something gets taken away um, by you, like what, I happened, what happened last year, um, at the minute, I'm just absolutely loving just kicking the footy with the boys, running around, sweating, getting to work, and, and hopefully um, we can get some wins this year. But just to be back out there amongst the boys, it's it's been great for, for my love. Before we wrap up, uh, who has caught your eye on the track this preseason? You have to name one player right now. Who are you going with? Oh, it's such a tough question because I feel a couple of the older guys who've had such good years and Al Mack and Jai are, are flying. They've, they've taken their fitness and, and training to another level, but if I was going to go with one, I'd, I'd go with Arch. He's, he's absolutely leading the way with our running and, and not leaving any stone unturned. He's, he's definitely uh, been impressive. Awesome, mate. Well, I know how much this uh, chat has pained you, Connors, but we really appreciate it and uh, thanks for your time. No, thank you.